So you want to take and start playing around with different Office 365 environments or just to keep things separate inside your world. Remember that a computer stores information, a browser stores information. They call them cookies and, and there's other names for things, but they're capturing information about your interactions. And sometimes that can create a problem for you. So especially when you're using multiple Office 365 environments or any system that's kind of collecting personal data, they're trying to collect the data and make life easier, but sometimes it makes it harder. So let's go ahead and figure out together how we can avoid doing this with a tool as simple as using Chrome. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you haven't downloaded Chrome, I would strongly suggest it. Now, Microsoft Edge and other browsers are absolutely terrific, but Microsoft, uh, but but Chrome, Google's Chrome, does a great job at keeping your internet sessions separate, and that's really what we're talking about here today. So let's go ahead and uh, get started by just hitting our start button. Now, we happen to be using Office 365. Excuse me, we happen to be using Windows 11. And but so it looks like this. But if you're using Windows 10 or something older, you'll still, but it'll be down here. It'll say run. But in either case, you want to open up Chrome. Okay, so we just want to open up Google Chrome itself. So go ahead and hit open. Now, when you hit open Chrome, it's just going to point you right to here and you're going to be able to create a new profile. We're going to do that by clicking on the add button. Now here, when we set up a new Chrome profile, we're gonna we can sign in, and what the signing in does is it, as it says there, it lets all of your stuff kind of kind of sync between all of your devices. In this case, we we're not gonna do that because we really just want um, to have a new session be created for us. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create this, and today is the sixth of April, so we're gonna put. 6 April Chrome. All right, and we're just going to give it, we can give it any color. We're going to, let's give it uh, that color. No, let's give it that color. No, let's give, as you can see, it's pretty flexible. We can give it any color we want. We're going to give it that color. Okay, let's hit done. Now, notice here that we have a completely new browser. If I type in Office, for example, go ahead and go there. If I type in office.com, okay, and I hit go, and I say sign in, for example, when I go to sign in, it's going to ask me for my username. It doesn't know what I want to do. Let's close this down real quick and show what the comparison is. So we're just going to close our browser. We're going to go back to Chrome. Now, I happen to have it on my desktop, but... Again, we can just hit Chrome and hit Open. Now notice that we have right here this new version of Chrome. And when we're done, we can delete it. Sometimes when I'm testing, I'll create one and I'll delete it. But let's go ahead and open up my personal one. And we'll go, whoops, that's not my personal one. Okay, so we're going to go back and open up Chrome again. We're going to hit Personal right here. Now notice here that I'm already logged on. And when I type in Office... For example, here, it will just log me on because I told it to do that automatically for me. Why? Because it has my cached credentials for my user account right here at Lush Advisors. That's why it's logging me on. Okay? So when we go back here to do that one more time, we're going to open up Chrome. We're going to go to that new one we just created. And by the way, uh, you just click there. Notice here that it's kind of prompting me as though I'm a new user. Okay, I got it, right? And now, again, I don't see Office. And when I type in Office, now I'm seeing just a blank page. Now, I wanted to go over this with you because a lot of folks, and I know I've done other videos on this similar to this topic, but it just does not get old. When you're trying to troubleshoot and help people with their environments and they're like, it's just not working for me. And and they go up and say, well, I've, I've gone ahead and I've cleared my browsing data. and I've just, You don't need to do all of that. Just use Chrome. It'll clear it all for you. And notice here that we're in a nice, clean environment. Good luck.